I've no idea you've been. Well, it was a last-minute decision, Smith. Well, I'm very busy. I don't have time to socialize. Socialize? Did you understand? Oh. Okay. Well, Smith, you know, I make myself invisible. I'll just sit and balance my checkbook until you've got over your crisis, whatever it is. Is something wrong? Do you have a problem? Is there a crisis? What is it? No, I'm just, uh, preoccupied. I'm sorry. Well, well what is it? Can I help? Huh? Don't concern yourself with my affairs. Thank you. Of course I'm concerned with your affairs after last night. I'm very committed to you. I mean, your worries and my worries. Your happiness is my concern. And they say good times and bad times are together. Chief, I love you very much. I thought you understood. I am busy. I have work to do. And I want to be alone. Do you understand that? Yes, I, I understand. Why are you so angry with me? I mean, I, I understand you might not want me here. And what is it? I'm very busy. All right, you're busy. Don't try to analyze I'm it. Not, but it's my nature. I, look, I'm sorry. Are you sorry for something that you said last night? Is there something wrong? I don't want to talk about last night. Why don't you want to talk about last night? I don't want to hurt you, Anna. There are a lot of things you don't understand. And there are a lot of things I can't explain. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes, I might not have understood it, but now I do perfectly. It's a real deep baby, isn't it? I'm okay. and wiser. Duke would want to go uh, alone. That's what honeymoons are for, for people to be alone. Like me and Felicia, when we went on our honeymoon, right? We... <laughs> remember the first night that we were in the Alan Quarter, Maine came in and busted us? You remember that? That's right. That's probably when Alan got a hold of that Mexican pottery cup of mine. What are you talking about? Sweetheart, you are a real gem. Thank you for jogging with Prisco's memory and mine. You just helped me answer it question I've been looking for. Oh, that's part of that setup I was telling you about. Go to Anna's office and fill her in. Wait, my mommy said it. Her office. She's with Duke, remember? Oh, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thank you. That's right. We'll find you, Jane. I'm counting on you. Yeah. I'm sorry. You look tired. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm Something wrong. My short or long lunch hour is none of your business. 
and my mood, I kindly do not share that with anybody else. You're right. You are absolutely right. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry, too. Is there any news to take? No, the uh, lab's still working on it. What's taking them so long? Don't they realize that this is crucial? Do you have anything else on the agenda? No, I don't. Keep them on. talked about some uh, police business now? What I'm here for. I know it's late in the day, and I'm uh, not in a very good mood. But I have some information that's pretty important to both of us. Okay. I'm all ears. All right, look, Anna, I think it is preposterous that anyone would believe that I would kill Alan and leave all these clues around. Obviously, I'm being set up. Go on. All right. I found out that Alan was in my penthouse the first night of Frisco and Felicia's honeymoon. Frisco told me that. Now, that's probably when he got hold of that Mexican tequila cup of mine. Now, if we can prove that he was also in my warehouse, that will explain how his parachute got there, and I'll be, I'll be cleared completely. But you certainly don't <laughs> seem too excited about this, but believe me personally, I am as pleased as hell. Come on, at least show a little pleasure in the fact that you can now let me off the hook, huh? Sean, this... It, it has to be investigated either way. Great. Okay. I know, you had a bad day. I guess that explains everything. It's got to do with Duke Labor, doesn't it? Are we finished with your business now? Come on, Annie. You've got to talk to someone. And why not me and Sean, your friend? Come on. Oh, it's so cool. anybody after Robert. I know. Hey, 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 it's all right. Confession is good for the soul, okay? Come on. Oh. Like, I don't know what it was with you. You know, you see, I'm going on the scene and, and it's just me off my feet and I just thought that we were meant to be together. What happened to that? I don't know. It, it's all right. I mean, it just all changed. It turned around. He'd... He doesn't want to see me, and... Uh... Well, it... Before I didn't fall passionately in love with him, isn't it? Sounds to me like you already have. No. Very much so. No. Yes, very much so. I, but I just don't write him off yet, will you? Don't write him off. Come on. I... Keep, a, keep an open mind. Give the man a chance to explain himself. Have a good lunch with Robin. Oh, terrific. Did you have a good lunch with Robin? We're changing the subject. Well, lunch was fun. Robin was a blast. She, she entertained you? Oh, yes, she entertained me. Let me put it this way. This kid gave a um, Academy Award performance eating a plain hamburger. What did she talk about? I said she talked about this wedding, didn't she? She decided where we're going on our honeymoon. Let me, let me guess. I'll save you the effort. You were going to Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know what to tell her, Sean. Mm -hmm. She really, she thinks they're going to get married. She's got a heart, she adores you. She's got a heart set on a wedding and... Look, 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 look. If you're worried about it, I'll, I'll go home with you, right? No, I, I want to do this on my own. And I'll talk it out with her. I just don't like leaving you alone in the state I'm, of mind, that's all. All right, I'm not going to hold up here. I'm going to take a walk to my head. I'll walk you to the door. Maybe tag along for the sidewalk or something. 